You still get up every morning and do PT? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, I'm a disabled veteran. Ah, ah, now you gotta take swim and- class with the old lady! <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Jose Sardui, your collector soldier, 20 year veteran of the United States Air Force. Bringing soldiers and collectibles here together on Collector's Cafe. What do you think dudes in the military laugh at the most? You know, mm-hmm. the inside jokes. Remember telling guys, hey, go get the ID10T oil, and they're like, what is that? And it's like, <laughs> you spell it out, it's an idiot. You know, so. I would have said uh, wieners and farts. Our guest today is a comedian from the GIs of comedy, Ralph Figueroa. He's a former soldier of 12 years who served in Afghanistan and was stationed at Guantanamo Bay. Now he performs all over the world uh, with the GIs of comedy and uh, on his own tours. Ralph Figueroa, thanks for joining us. Hey man, glad to be here. What uh, did you do in the military? I was in uh, field artillery. I was a fire direction center. I used to just blow things up. I can't hear anything now, but it's all right. (laughs) So how did you become a comedian? I I was just always imitating people around the house. And my grandma, who's the meanest lady on earth, by the way, uh, typical Mexican, you know, she would come in and just talk about all I don't like your girlfriend. You don't don't like your comadre, yeah, yeah, just talk. And then as soon as she see her, she goes, Hi! <laughs> she was the funniest, you know, person that I ever met. I just kind of picked that up from her, and so as I got into the military, we would get out into the field, and as a field artillery, there's nothing to do out there. And then we would tell jokes to each other. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of, you know, originally how I first started doing comedy. Just just having fun with it, but when I got to Gitmo... That's Guantanamo Bay. Guantanamo. For, <clears throat> for those that haven't yes. seen it. Uh, a, a troop of, of comedians came by, and so they performed for all of us. And I was just like, wow, I can't believe, like, they got to travel to do that, and they were funny. And So what's the greatest part of performing for the soldiers? I think it's the, uh, the response that they give us afterwards. They feel, especially when, when you do it overseas and that there's that reception of, hey, you guys reminded us of home. That to me is, is, is what means something. So we're gonna play a little game. This right. is called, Would You Rather? Would you fight alongside Rambo or Walker, Texas Ranger? Oh, Rambo. Rambo? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Why even fight next to Chuck Norris? Yeah, you're sidekicking. That's, That's right. what you are. So who would you grab a drink with? Uh, George S. Patton or Sergeant Hartman from Full Metal Jacket? I would have to take Patton on this one. Patton? You mean the person that's real? Yes. <laughs> yes. All right, so who would you rather swap stories with? Lieutenant Dan Taylor from Forrest Gump or Captain Benjamin Willard from Apocalypse Now? Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump? Lieutenant yeah. Dan? Lieutenant I would Dan. Too. He's got better stories. Who would you take a tour of duty with? Chris Kyle from American Sniper or Private Ryan from Saving Private Ryan? They, they both ended kind of pretty bad, so. <laughs> Not on duty, Chris uh, Kyle. On duty, well, I would go with Chris Kyle. Right? That was such a good movie, too. I really didn't know the story. I had heard, you know, through military channels. I didn't think that was really real. Yeah. Of, oh, there's this guy that, you know, he's the legend or whatever. Like, no yeah. way. So would you rather go Nazi hunting with the guys from Inglorious Bastards or crack jokes with the chill crew from MASH? Oh, the chill crew from MASH. Yeah, yeah. Come on, hot guy? Yeah. <laughs> guy was brilliant. Yeah. Let's talk collectibles. What did you bring? It, this is the cool thing about being in the military that yeah. we get to travel around. I would yeah. go to these different bases and I would find these little mom and pop comic book places and I started collecting Robotech. I became a pilot because of Robotech. Really? Yeah. I brought Roy. Roy fuck hair. <laughs> um, <laughs> he was the uh, the leader of the unit. Yes, uh, he was the school, the, the school yeah. leader. This is Roy Fokker's uh, VF-1. I'm nerding out. It's, I have the biggest nerd going right now. I bought his counterpart, Rick Hunter. I got the uh, the statue of uh, Rick Hunter. This is so the original Rick Hunter. I have the matching outfit at home. Hey! Yes. This is the limited edition. Oh, I stop it. Stop it. It's yes. got the missiles too. So this series alone is probably worth a couple grand. Right. I have two full sets of those. I was a huge fan of uh, Wolverine. I remember when I was in Germany, I happened to find a 12 inch uh, version of Wolverine in his, in his camouflage. What collectible do you wish you, would, you could find? There's a Boba Fett that never came into production and it's about this big. Yeah. It's not even in color, it's, it's a prototype and it has this weapon that shoots and it's a little projectile and which is why they didn't make it. So there was only like six of these things Wow. That would be my, my price collectible. Good thing you came on the show because you can actually go on collectorscafe.com and you can interact with other, other collectors? collectors. Yeah, and you can oh, get that cool. Boba Fett. Yeah. Uh, what's next for Ralph Figueroa? Got some good products with the uh, Ice House. We got some shows that we're going to be producing. We've got the Top Fuel Comedy and, of course, the GIs of Comedy. So, Ralph Figueroa, thank you very much for joining us on uh, Collectors Cafe and talking uh, military stuff with us. Oh, thank you for having me. I'm Jose Sardui, your collector soldier, and that wraps it up for this edition of Collectors Cafe.